Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so I have a fun video. Some, uh, a lot of people mention that they like when I do baking videos like this, which is weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys because I was in the mood for some sugar cookies. And I just so happened to have all of the ingredients at home. If you guys watched my thrifting video from a while ago, if you didn't, you should watch it. It's really fun. And if you did, then you would know that I got the cookie cutters and I got it for this video. And I'm glad that I got onto doing it before we leave for Canada. Also, I'm babysitting, so if you hear baby noises in the background, it's because there's a baby in the background. <laughs> so I have him literally right here, so I don't want anyone to be like, Okay, just let me be. Okay, I'm gonna angle the camera down so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So I have most of the ingredients like measured out here and I have the recipe on my phone. But I know the first thing that you normally do is combine all the dry ingredients, so I'm gonna do that. So I have two and three quarters cups of flour. It's a lot of flour. Then I have, uh, I think this is one and a half cups of sugar. And then it calls for uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder. and one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so I've got my little whisk here and I'm just going to mix these together real good. Okay, so I have all of the dry ingredients nice and mixed together, so I'm going to put these aside. And then, this is where I need the instructions because your girl doesn't know. Uh, na, na, na. Cream together butter and... I literally already did it wrong. So, uh, you're supposed to mix all of the dry ingredients except for the sugar so you know we're just gonna go with it and see what happens i'm going to beat the butter <clears throat> in this bowl until it's like kind of like uh, hello i did have the butter sitting out so it's pretty soft but I'm going to like mush it with the whisk until it's kind of like whiskable, I guess you could say. So here's what it looks like now. And here's what it looks like now. It's very soft already. I guess I didn't need to do that. Um, I'm just going to go with the flow now. So I'm going to add in the egg and the vanilla. And then we just have to add in the dry ingredients. I literally have a KitchenAid right there, but I never use it. Maybe I should sell it. I'm not doing very good, guys. This is my current situation. It looks really gross, but we're just gonna go. Um, and we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Do I dare? Sure, one teaspoon. So we're still a mess. Now it's just really liquidy in there. So we're just gonna try to save this by adding in the dry ingredients. It's times like these where I just take my wedding ring off and I forget about this thing and I just go in and mush it myself with my hands. So here we go, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it this way. I think it can be saved, guys. So my dough is very dry. It's just like crumbly. 
So I'm going to Google really quick how to fix dry dough. I'll be back. Okay, so I just came back from Googling and all the things said to just add water. They said to add liquid to it, but a lot of people suggested adding water because it doesn't mess with like the taste and it doesn't affect the baking process. Like if I added more egg, then I don't know what that would do, but I don't know. So we're just gonna do literally a splash of water at a time because that's what the thing said. Sorry, we had to have a little intermission because I put my little guy to sleep. Um, and yeah, uh, it was funny because I changed his diaper and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to put butt cream on you. So I reopened his diaper. Literally within, I don't know, seven seconds, he peed again. And I was just like, bro. Anyways, so I added that water and now it's actual dough, so I'm feeling really good about it. I thought it would be fun if I did red and green cookies, so I'm going to split it in half and try to add some food coloring, and we're going to see just how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside, just like over here on some wax paper. I have this here and I'm just gonna make a little like hole here and I think I'm gonna do green first okay my camera is literally about to die so I'm literally just gonna add the food coloring in to this and then do red and then put them on the sheet and bake them. I'll charge my battery while they're baking so when they come out and I cut them into their little shapes, then you guys will see. So I'll see you for that here in a second. <laughs> okay, my camera is kind of charged <laughs> and uh, both of the cookies are done. So we've got the green and we have the red and this one I left kind of swirly, which I really like. Um, they're still kind of ooey gooey, but I did the, like I put a toothpick in and it came out clean. By the way, I cooked them at 375 for eight minutes and I let them cool like on top of the oven. So like they were still like, kind of cooking. So it was pretty fast and I have not tasted it yet. So as far as the shapes go, I'm going to do a snowflake. A candy cane, a little Christmas tree, and an angel. There are a bunch more, but I didn't feel like hand washing all of them right now. Again, I'm going to move the camera down, and I'm just going to like make a bunch of cookies really fast without me talking. So, yeah, here we go. I'll just try some of the crusty leftovers. Um, I noticed that the one, like the dough in the middle is like really like buttery. I don't know why that happened. So uh, maybe one of you guys who always know how to fix the problems in my life can tell me what to do differently. Probably would have helped if I like actually followed the directions. I'm gonna try a little piece from the outside. So here's the moment of truth. Okay. Dang. I wish I could share it with you guys. Let me try a piece from the middle. Oh, it's so good. Hmm. You know, I had a really rough start and I didn't think that I was going to survive. <laughs> but I did. And these cookies turned out really good and they're actually like really cute. 
So the only problem is is that I shouldn't be eating sugar and Peter doesn't eat sugar. So we also leave to Canada in four days. So I'm going to have to find someone to give these away to. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for staying with me even though I struggle in like 80% of my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that little bell so that you get notified when I post. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.